Western Australia. Like most kids in the bush, you, uh, you had a passion for sport. We moved to the city, to Perth, when I was about 13, and met a fellow there that had a tremendous influence on my life. His name was Frank Parry. He became my coach or mentor. I was in the state cricket squad at the age of 16. I was the youngest person ever to have done that and made my debut for Western Australia when I was about 21 and got 100 against in my maiden game against New South Wales. So that was, um, that was exciting. And then it wasn't too long before I got in the Australian side um, just prior to World Series cricket. I was on the tour of 77, which Greg Chappell captained. I, I didn't play in the first five test matches. I uh, got a game in the last one. And then World Series cricket, if you like, came into. Uh, you know, happened and Bobby Simpson then took over and I didn't play much at all, you know, and it was a pretty tough time for Australian cricket because we lost all of our, our senior players and then really once World Series cricket stopped and then there was a, a, a gelling back together again, I captain Australia, a uh, young Australian side to India and about 79, I was only about 25, I'm the second youngest person ever to captain Australia. I went through India and scored the most number of runs any Australians scored uh, in India. I always have a bit of a laugh with Aussie rules footballers and they complain about home ground advantages or something, but when you're touring India in those days and 80,000 people appeal, and the 11 Indian fielders and the two Indian umpires appeal, you're in for a pretty tough day. And then basically played until I resigned in uh, 85, 86. And then basically then, took a side to South Africa in the Rebel days, I was captain of that, uh, and played two seasons there, and then captain Natal as a provincial side, and finished about in, in 89. Well, my best innings was against the West Indies at the MCG uh, on Boxing Day. Uh, given the quality of the attack, uh, it was ranked by Wisdom as the ninth best innings ever played in the history of Test cricket, and we won the game, which made it even better. But certainly the MCG Boxing Day 100 there was my best innings ever.